When we have elements that are grouped together on desktop, but ungrouped on mobile, your first instinct might be to hide the desktop element on mobile and show a different element in its place. But there's actually a better way. So here in Webflow, we have this div that holds all our content. Let's go ahead and give it a class of hero layout and we'll give it a display flex vertical with some gap so the elements stack under each other. Now in that, we have the div that's gonna hold our button and we'll go ahead and give this a class of hero button and we'll give it an order of last so it jumps to the bottom of the list. Now we still want this button and heading to be grouped together so we'll wrap them in a div like so and we'll go ahead and give this div a class of hero header and we'll give it a display flex to align to bottom and space between so these elements are stacked side by side. Now on our next breakpoint, we want to ungroup these elements. So we'll scroll down to the bottom under custom properties, we'll apply a display of contents on this header like so. And now this header is completely ignored. It's going to act like this button and heading are direct childs of this entire layout. And one other issue we'll run into is if the user increases their font size, the heading and button run into each other before we reach 2x the original size. And this is more of a Webflow issue than anything else, but we can easily switch it since the only thing we were doing on mobile was setting this display contents on this header. We'll go ahead and remove this from our mobile view. And instead we want it to be based on the width of this entire layout. So with the layout selected under custom properties, we'll add a container type with a value of inline dash size. And then we can go ahead and add an embed to our page. And in that embed, we're just gonna say whenever that layout or container is smaller than 40M, and we could set that breaking point to anything we'd like, we'll set the entire header to a display contents for that view. And so what this does is make the breaking point based on our font size and when we have enough space, instead of tying it to uh, like the tablet breakpoint or something like that. And so here it's wrapping before these elements run into each other. I hope this layout helps you learn how to group and ungroup elements without hiding them across breakpoints.